So in this video, I'm gonna download and install uh, PDQ inventory. I did uh, already made the video, but I never. Uh, I think uh, I should show you how easy it is to connect it to your domain, and it does everything. Like it picks up the all the computers automatically. Uh, and like unlike uh, work groups, well, you have to go get the basic information of getting all those computers names enter them and then it can scan it and with work groups there is an extra step that you have to go and make sure that <coughs> a username which has the admin rights is has the same uh, name and password on all of the work groups computers while for uh, all right so for pdq uh, for the um, uh, PDQ on work groups, you have to make sure that uh, at least one account has the same username and password and has the admin rights. But to download, you have to just go to I do search download PDQ or just PDQ inventory right there. Go straight to the link, click on download free fill out this information and click submit you can get the 14 day free trial the full version but I went uh, with the free one uh, only because it gives you more uh, like you are not under uh, pressure to make a video or check it out uh, it's because uh, I have full-time job so you know it's just on the side when I think hey if I think of a scenario then I can test it out um, I will try this one uh, and make a video as well the full one um, but so far what I got with the free one uh, was enough you can see in that video so to install it you just have to I already installed it got the zip unzip it and extract got rid of the zip file itself and kept the extracted file right there so we just clicked and I want to see if I can show you again where it asks for the it asks for your it picks up your domain and then asks you for the account information so I, like everything is done okay so it did not in that case let's turn this video into uh, how to completely remove uh, you see uh, it lashed on to the lost saved information all of that it didn't ask me anything like uh, and even if he remembered there was a windows 8 uh, in there right there so basically I could not show you those steps uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this video into how you can completely remove a software from your um, system like you know, next time it gets installed uh, it installs as a, as a new software so we click on uninstall yes and okay we want to scanning mode advanced scan so you see while it's scanning PDQ inventory right there so that's the uh, step is there like uh, that is all the information that it has saved how about we click on delete yeah sure delete all of them like this is how we're deleting completely the PDQ like all of its configuration and everything has been deleted from the system now we know that uh, it's gone let's try to install it one more time that was a nice thing that Rebo one install right there you can download it uh, search it and download it let's install the inventory one more time <coughs> right welcome to BDK inventory so all the information uh, everything has been completely removed thanks to this uninstaller here 
uh, now we can go and go through the setup process like how it asked me it asked me use free mode or enterprise I did went with the free one you see it picked up my domain uh, if I can show you here while it's loading let's go back here it picked up my domain it that's the default one like if I had if I create an inventory uh, uh, here uh, like I did create an, a deploy one let's create a username for the PG inventor inventory we give it uh, right as inventory right and user cannot change that and we give it a password finish it and when we oh we named it pdp inventory okay no problem i i wanted to use inventory so we can uh basically uh, we can display name as well so basically i can i, I any software that i'm using like uh, pdk or spiceworks i can use just the same account for all of them we click member of make it as a admin please check names administrators okay uh, domain leader guest cancel it is a member of admin group enterprise admin as well enterprise admin let's give it that right as well just in case and apply okay so now this user we can we can go here inventory and give it the password and let's see if I can finish it like it takes the password or not I should have clicked on and more information see what's there all right so it worked now it's up uh, it's good to go let's see if we can scan something anything scan we have to add at least a computer browse by name it's just like that uh, all the computers are off except for like if I yeah if I can show you another cool thing you can see here all these computers when I add them here it says host names like it, it resolve the host names we click OK you can check which one are online server is online yes now it's gonna give yes for the Windows 8 as well but rest of them they're gonna say it's no because yes they are offline and then you just have to click it so it took the password it can go and uh, scan them uh, let's uh, do the it's connecting here it might file here a uh, fail here uh, that's because right now there's a local user um, logged in there and you have to force the policy to get everything uh, over there so at, at this time that computer does not recognize a inventory account uh, as of yet but this one you see it's good so access denied fail to connect to target share the access was denied because of that uh, username we created but if we go and change that uh, like the oh that's for this one like uh, options and profile credentials probably open inventory so add credential let's we put the uh, administrator add me me administrator and give it a password we click ok or we could uh, do the test credential as well you see test credentials server 19 ok that's successful uh, we can do the test credentials on this one test credential server test successful so that's how you can test them as well uh, let's go and scan it scan computer select scan user so we're gonna select admin here 
go uh, uh, we can actually when we select scan user we we can add credentials oh that's only added not i thought it uh, it said something like test it here but that was not the case let's go and scan it one more time and you see it's only this one is uh, like going through and this time because that computer uh, the last time it was logged to the domain it got all the usernames uh, automatically and saved a local ssid on the system uh, so regardless you are connected to the domain or not or even if you are connected to the network you can log in with the domain accounts all of them that it has already saved in the local uh, settings so there is just like the active directory there is a local groups and users uh, uh, in the in that computer over there like all of them so you see it's getting it's working it's getting all the details right so I'm gonna stop this video here if you want to you can go to the other video where I did the whole scannings and went through all the settings it was just how to install it all right so thank you for watching if you like this video if it helped you uh, you see it keep uh, changing here so if this video helped you anyway please rate rate share comment subscribe and you have a good day